Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 10 of the keto cut I am doing. This morning I am up, I've gotten dressed and ready for work and by ready for work I drew in my eyebrows and put on mascara. My face is still a little peely so I'm just leaving off the foundation for now, just letting my skin kind of heal itself. Anyways, the first order of business this morning is grabbing some coffee and going to make myself a cup of coffee to sit at my computer and try and reply to some of y'all's YouTube comments. So I'm doing the norm, you know, you should know this by now, 30 milliliters of heavy whipping cream. Wee hoo! And now Cody actually made the coffee this morning and I think he brewed it a little bit strong. So, this should be interesting. Today, I'm also going to do some of my Omega Power Creamer. It has grass-fed ghee, coconut, and MCT oil in it. So it's kind of like bulletproof coffee in a container. It just makes it super easy. And I'm going to add 14 grams to my coffee. Perfect. So for any of y'all that make bulletproof coffee, this is the best investment ever. This is just a milk frother and you stick it in your coffee and it mixes it all together. It's great. I'm actually running about a minute behind, but I'm headed out the door, headed to work and I will check in with y'all at lunch where I eat my first meal of the day. Where is a bow? There he is! Hey, buddy! And I am back at home for my way too short lunch break. Since like 9.30 this morning, my stomach has been growling. But it's 12.45 now and I get to eat some of my leftover Big Mac casserole that Cody made for dinner last night. I'm so excited to eat more of this. It was so, so good last night. If you want this recipe, I have it linked in the video before this one. I'm about to heat this up in the microwave and it's gonna be so good. This stuff is bomb. Just heated up my cheeseburger casserole. I'm about to go dig in. The best part about this is it is so entirely filling. I get so full off of just a small amount. I scarfed down my lunch, took Bo on a little walk, and now I have just a couple of minutes before I head back out the door and go back to work. I'm about to see if Bo wants to play catch for a couple minutes and get his little legs a stretching. As soon as I get off work today, I'm gonna have to come back to the apartment, pick up Bo, and we're taking him to the vet to maybe get an allergy shot, but most importantly, his Bordetella vaccine, so that he can get groomed tomorrow, get shaved, which is sad. But I know that if he's shaved, I can make sure that all of his skin is healing correctly and healing, so that is the plan for this afternoon. You want a tennis ball? Oh, ow, yep, you do. Go get it. Get it. Chugging a little bit of water, but I'm headed out the door and headed back to work. I will check in with y'all when the work day is over. <laughs> Yay! I have made it back home from work for the day. And Bo is really cute right now. He's playing with his ball. Shaking his little butt in the air. You got your ball. You got it. Hey, sweet boy. Get that ball. Get that ball, get your ball. Anyways, here in a few minutes, me and Cody are gonna head to take Bo to the vet to get him his Bordetella vaccine. He doesn't know that he's about to go to the vet. Poor guy, he gets so stressed, which is why I'm bringing little dog treats to you know make him a happy guy. Then, Cody needs to go do something for work and that's about a 30 minute drive away. 
So I volunteered to ride with him, you know, be a good girlfriend, keep him company in the car. So instead of cooking dinner tonight, we're probably gonna just pick something up and the dinner I had planned for this evening, I will cook tomorrow because by, by the time we go to the vet and then go out to his work and get that done, we will be out of time for the evening. You just, you know, roll with the punches. So we'll grab dinner tonight and cook dinner tomorrow. Not a big deal. Bobo, what is it? Gentle. Okay, eat my whole hand. Treat. Mmm. Bo got his vaccine. He's sitting in the back. He's buckled in to his harness so that he's safe in the back seat. And now, what do we have? A long drive to Irving? 19 miles. 19 mile drive to Irving. And then we'll get dinner after because I'm kind of hungry. Cody is currently inside the plant doing whatever he has to do for work. Bo is watching out for me. There's some people walking by assuming they're getting off work, but he's barking at anyone he walks by. He's keeping me safe. He's such a ferocious guard dog. So ferocious. Oh, Cody, your seat's gone. Anyways, it is currently 7.15 and still light outside. Oh my golly, I love daylight savings time. So once Cody finishes here, we're gonna go get something to eat. Bo, say hi to the YouTube. Say I got my Bordetella and all is well. Cody told me that he shouldn't be in there longer than 10 minutes. It's been 20. Does he realize that his girl in the car is out here starving to death? Like, I'm gonna wither away. I'm, I'm just gonna wither away. What is it, Bo? Did someone walk by the car? Bo's our new driver. Isn't he pretty cute? He's a cute driver. You look so cute. You look like you're ready to drive. If Bo could drive, he'd drive me to get food. Gosh, Cody. <laughs> just kidding. Just checking in with an update. It's now been 30 minutes. Cody has left us here to starve in this car forever and ever, I assume. He's never coming back, wait. Oh no. Oh, the engine shuts off in 30 seconds. How do I do this? Okay. So for dinner tonight, we went to this place called Baker's Ribs. Cody went inside and got us some meat. He got some roasted chicken and some brisket. So this is going to be our dinner. Stop crying for our food, you bad dog. Look, he's foaming at the lips. Using one of these extreme wellness tortillas, I do think I'm going to make a chicken taco with this meat and some cheese and some sour cream. Dog, you're pathetic. You're pathetic. So I'm going to do a chicken wrap. It's got that roasted chicken, a low carb tortilla, some sharp cheddar cheese, and some sour cream. Just going to roll it up and eat it kind of like a fajita. This is how we're getting our, you know, greens in today with some green jello. How's your jello taste, Cody? It's pretty good. I'm eating half of it already. Got enough whipped cream there, Captain? Maybe. I don't like it. Mmm. Mm. so weird. Do you want a little tiny bit of whipped cream? Get ready for it. We're giving him whipped cream. <laughs> I just gave him a little smidge. Holy moly, all of a sudden it is 10.30 at night and it is past our bedtime because I have to be up super early in the morning. I gotta edit this in the morning. I've gotta get ready early. I've gotta take Bo to daycare slash grooming tomorrow to get his poor little skin cleaned up so we can start treating it. Totally forgot to record it, but with dinner earlier, I had some broccoli. 
I needed some more green in my diet besides the jello Cody made, haha. <laughs> I am about to head to bed because we gotta be up early. So, I hope you enjoyed this keto cut day 10, I believe. Holy moly. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys.